Oh, oh we knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> Dave and I know it ain't easy being cheesy. But which one's the cheesiest? About ready to find out. Two bald guys eat stuff and talk about it. So it's frozen food month and it's been a long time since Dave and I had something frozen. We have. So we decided to make a trip to the microwave and now do macaroni and cheese. It's getting cheesy. So uh, most of the time Dave and I at home make our own. Yeah, my right? wife makes homemade mac and cheese usually. Mm -hmm. So we're not the uh, frozen mac and cheese connoisseurs. No. Nope. Uh, but today we're going to try eight different brands in a blind taste test. I was really surprised we had eight different ones at the store, to be honest. Uh, but we're going to do something new. We had some people comment to say you guys always agree with each other and you guys kind of uh, persuade each other one mm -hmm. way. Uh, so today we're gonna write our scores down on here and not talk about it beforehand. Yep. So we're gonna write our score down and reveal it to you so you guys can see it. Uh, then we'll again crown a champion on a blind taste test. Yeah, it'll so. be a surprise to both of us. Yes. Number one. We have a wide array of yellow. Yeah, yellow going colors on. and white. And so what are you looking for in a mac and cheese? Definitely uh, not a processed cheese flavor. I want a rich, good, creamy, rich mm -hmm. cheese. And we just cooked these according to instructions in the box. Mm -hmm. We didn't temper this with pepper, which we both like, or salt, yeah. which I'm a high sodium guy. And I usually add sriracha to mine, so that yep. would definitely. This is, um, I would call standard, right, standard mac and cheese. Yeah. So it's got a really um, plain taste for a yeah, mac and cheese. A lot of noodle flavor, which I don't like. Mm -hmm. um, the cheese is, you know, creamy. Um, no complaints, but. No. Kind of blah. Right. Yeah. One, two, three. Five, seven, okay. Whoa. So right. for me, this is middle of the road, just average, so one to five. Mm -hmm. And number two, a different noodle shape on this one. This one's straight. This looks like the uh, box mac and cheese. Yeah. Hmm. Um. <laughs> that one really doesn't have any flavor. That one's got a strange aftertaste not too. Not a weird, not a good texture either. You said before, like a processed taste. This is a uh, a flavor that's not natural. Yeah. I think I've been spoiled my whole life. <laughs> All right. Number four. Yeah, number five. five. Yeah. One step down. Yeah. Uh, uh. All right. Number three. Back to orange color wow. on this one. And these are big elbow noodles. This is like the Homer Simpson of mac and cheese. <laughs> big and orange. <laughs> oh, oh, we knew that was going to happen. <laughs> I'm glad I do my own laundry. <laughs> These forks, terrible. What's your shirt say? Same ship, uh, different Same ship, day. different day. <laughs> Pretty, just you wait. Now this one is super cheesy. Yeah, super cheesy. Although the um, cheese flavor isn't elaborate. No, but I do like the amount of cheese to noodle ratio mm -hmm. because the noodles that are this thick can be yeah. overpowering, but yeah. the cheese balances it out. It envelops the noodle on this one for mm -hmm. sure. And your shirt. <laughs> A little bit messy. Um, this one, um, would be awesome with some pepper or hot yeah. sauce or something. I just need something to take the flavor up. I think on I really all these like that this we're, one. we're having here. Okay, eight and seven. Eight. Yeah, so just right. a step up on this one yeah. from the ones that we've had yeah. before. All right, and number four. Now this one has okay. a, a white color. It's got uh, what do you call that noodle? Corkscrew. Corkscrew noodle and some uh, bacon. Looks like bacon bits. Oh wow, <laughs> that tastes homemade. Um, hmm. I think this is probably a white cheddar yeah. cheese. But it's got that real cheese flavor. Right. It's a, a dry cheese. Almost almost like an aged cheddar too. Parmesan maybe in it. It's got some depth. The other mac and cheeses were just kind of on, uh, on level. This this one has waves. My mouth woke up on this one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, give it, I give it a 10. This is some of the best mac and cheeses I've ever had. Yeah. I would um, think this was from a restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. It's Classic. Like a, if you're looking for a date night with a wife, yeah, buy some of this stuff. Nuke her some of that. <laughs> All right, number five. I mean business. <laughs> These are big shells, wow. and it looks like there's some kind of uh, extra topping. Topping on there. there. That's a big bite. <laughs> this one, um, mm. again, the cheese has depth, but there's yeah. a lot of noodle on there's, this one. This is a lot of noodle. I do like the topping though. Um, it's it like a breading. Something to it. I don't know. I think the noodle is still too prevalent. Too fat. You got a fat noodle. Mm -hmm. This one does add some more sodium, some more salt content, which you do like. It's not a good ratio of cheese to noodle. No, I think the topping definitely helps this one. It makes it more interesting. I'll go an eight. I went seven and a half. Seven and a half, nice. All right, number six. This Back one, to your elbow noodle. This is another thick one. Thick with two C's. 
and an orange color too, so a oh, cheddar. Mmm. That's the richest orange cheddar that we've had. That has a really, really deep cheddar flavor, which mm -hmm. I like. Almost chalky. Yeah. Um, wow. I wonder if it sat too long and got too too thick. But I like it. Um, Man. I don't like a soupy mac and cheese. No. I like something that stays with you. This will stick and to your noodles, bones. You don't taste the noodles, even though they're bigger. Because mm -hmm. this is such a deep, cheesy flavor. Hmm. I'm kind of impressed with that one. Mm -hmm. One and nine. Nine, nine yeah. So for a traditional mac and cheese, the one that we gave the tin to was a white cheddar and bacon. Like yeah. this is traditional mac this and is, cheese I could think of. Yeah. All right, number seven. Seven. This one's a soupy one. A little bit. The noodles are mm -hmm. elbow, but they're manageable. This one might be the imitation. Cheese-ish. Yeah, um, pretty watery, pretty uh, bland. Yeah, not nothing exciting happening. Uh, this is what I compare to the mac and cheese at like a buffet like Golden Corral. Mm-hmm. I'm not picking up anything. Yeah. Hmm. All right. I had high hopes for it. This one's four. six. Oh, man. <laughs> down there. Yeah. And lastly. Last one, number eight. This one looks pretty incredible. It's th another thick one. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> well, now that I don't have any taste buds. <laughs> I'm going to skew the results a you little know, bit. Take two. So the cheese on this one, it's pretty good. It's uh, thick and it clings to the noodles. Ah! <laughs> Rettenmeyer. <laughs> Strike two. <laughs> this one's better. Mm-hmm. Not quite as good as that um, one before this. There's a lot of dairy in this one, so this has got like probably a lot of milk in the cheese. Okay. Um, which is the reason why it's probably so creamy. Yeah, I just wish it had that punch to it. Mm-hmm. Needs a little bit more depth on the flavor for sure. It's still good though. My shirt liked it too. <laughs> All right. That one is seven. That one eight. All right, okay. All right. So after trying eight different brands, any blind taste test of Ooh. frozen macaroni, we have mm -hmm. a winner. It's Devour. This is the one that tasted like restaurant quality. We it gave was. it a nineteen Absolutely. out of twenty. Uh, great bacon flavor. Really deep, rich uh, white cheddar. Mm -hmm. And uh, the noodles were. The twisty, yeah, and they held the cheese well. So if so. you're familiar with this show, very rarely do we give anything a ten. Uh, this I gave a ten to because it is one of the best mac and cheeses that I've ever had. Mm -hmm. And second was Amy's, which is an organic uh, mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. So Amy's something, kitchen. something about the taste of this one seemed natural. Obviously, yeah. it's organic, but the cheese had a really rich flavor to it. It had um, depth. It was interesting. The noodles mm -hmm. weren't overpowering. Mm -hmm. It was creamy. I I loved it. So most of the time when you talk about frozen mac and cheese, you don't expect a much flavor. No. Uh, but we, at least out of the four out of the eight that we tried mm -hmm. today, they had quite a bit of uh, depth on the flavor for a frozen mac and cheese. Yeah, four were four wildest and the rest were just average. Yep, but that's just two ball guys' opinion. Mm -hmm. Again, we like to spice our mac and cheese up with a lot of different things. This was straight out the box, but mm -hmm. let us know what you guys like at home. Two bald guys eat stuff and talk about it.